Sagittarius, how are you doing? It's so good to see you. Thank you for coming back and uh, watching your video this week. And the message that I have for you is about the Titanic. Will your heart go on? That's what, that's what spirit wants to know. Because you know it will. And I'm also getting that it's better to have loved and lost than to never have loved at all. And I just feel like you were in a dark period. The energy of darkness. But within the energy of darkness, you can actually see the truth. Before the world was created, the world was in darkness. Darkness became, darkness was first for light. So there's something about the darkness and getting back to the start of where things are. The start of where you began. Pumpkins could be significant. The symbolism for pumpkins. Um, so let's go ahead and... And I'm also hearing September the 19th. That could be important or a significant date coming up. And I'm also hearing Apollo, which is the Greek god. And a disbelief, shocking news. And I'm going to pull some cards and we'll read the energy. Excuse me. And I have the other two cards fall. I'm hearing Melissa. Um, or the letter M could be significant. I'm also hearing Mother Goose. And I'm also hearing cleanse. So maybe you are clean, washing your hands right now. Maybe there's something about the water. Maybe you're drinking water, which I hope you are. The water is significant for human life. But it's the energy of cleansing. It's the energy of washing away something. When I add the numbers 919 up, you get the card or the number 28. The major arcana stop at the number 22. But 28, if you take 2 plus 8 and you add it together, you get 10, which is the number of completion. And Spirit says that there's something in completion. Something has been in the works for a very, very long time. So I'm getting the disbelief or shooketh energy. The very first card today in your reading is the Eight of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles is really about hard work, dedication, authenticity, Hard work. It's also a card of the architect, the builder, the creator. And how you are creating everything with perfection, even when you don't see it as that. You're saving for a rainy day. Saving for something big. Saving for the right opportunity. I'm hearing that. I'm saving all my love for you. So, saving. Followed by the next card, which is the Four of Pentacles. 
And the Four of Pentacles is basically saying that you're not going to give out everything. You'll help somebody. You'll give somebody your energy, right? But they won't have full access because they don't deserve full access. The Four of Pentacles is also saying that you need to be stable and secure and grounded. It's also saying hang on to some money. There could be some expense or something coming up that you want to purchase. Followed by the Judgment card, which is a card of second chances, second opportunities, revivals, eye-opening experiences, apologies. Judgment is basically saying that it's not the end. It's only the beginning, and you didn't even see it as that. That's why I was getting, my heart will go on, like the Titanic energy. But in the Eight of Swords right here, you feel very tied and stuck in a situation still. You're blinded by the truth, or you're blinded by the pain. You don't want to see the truth. You're holding on. Wishful thinking. Oh, they're going to come save me. They're going to come save me. You can hold on all day you want, but just remember that you have to save yourself in the end. Rose saved herself with the help from Jack. Why is the Titanic coming up? This is very significant somehow. Followed by the Eight of Wands, which is about quick, fast, sudden, incoming energy. Shocking news. Disbelief. That leads into a Five of Wands, which could be conflict. It could be disagreements. So, I don't know. I feel like something is going to release you. You're working hard to get released. You're working hard to be let go. You're working hard to find the right thing. So let the right thing in. Let the right person in. Let the right energy in. It feels very like a loss of passion. I'm not going to lie. It's just giving me something. It's maybe that every day is the same. Like Groundhog Day. Deja Vu. When is it? When's the good stuff coming? When's the good energy coming? But in order to have the good stuff, you still have to work through the boring stuff. You still got to work through the, the heartbreaking stuff and the disagreements so you can see your truth. I'm going to go into another tarot deck, Spirit told me to. And this is um, the Monsters deck. And the first card that came out, the High Priestess. And the High Priestess sees the truth. She sees the darkness. She sees the shadows. She acknowledges of them. The High Priestess is very intuitive, very smart, very wise, very gifted. She's also very stable. She don't make rash decisions. She actually processes things listens to spirit, listens to her own ideas and her own logic, and then creates decisions and choices and moves towards that. The sun card. Moving towards happiness. Moving towards a brighter future, like out of the darkness into the light. Something is coming from the darkness to the light. That's why there's that sudden disbelief of shocking news, shooketh energy. But for you, it's an approval. For you, it's positive. For you, it's everything that you have been asking for. Well, one more card. Let's, let's dive a little bit deeper. The devil in reverse. My ears are ringing. <laughs> My ears are ringing. Somebody, it's almost like ring the alarm, ring the bell. Like even in the Titanic where Rose grabbed the whistle, she grabbed the whistle. If she didn't blow the whistle, they would have left her and she would have never had that new beginning. 
even in this card, I quit. They're like in the river. They are like in the river. I quit. This is this is giving like, I don't know, Titanic energy. <laughs> it's like you being rescued. Spirit is rescuing you from a situation that feels like Groundhog Day. The same battles with the same people. That's why Spirit was saying, do you hear what I hear? Approval. 919. That could be significant for someone. That could be significant. Let's go ahead and go into um, another tarot. Another tarot. Just to see what else comes out. Different decks carry different energies. The first card we have is the Emperor. Which is powerful choices. It's also about, like, I'm hearing strategy, being strategic, creating boundaries, restrictions, knowing what you deserve. Legitimately, four of wands, 11-11. Breakthrough to success, an approval, positive. Dis you are in disbelief. So is other people. Because I can hear the energies. Oh, they didn't deserve that. They didn't work hard for that. I don't know how they got away with it. I don't know how all that's all they they attract good stuff. Sagittarius, you are ruled by Jupiter. In astrology, Jupiter is the planet of blessings and good luck and goodwill. You have been in a like a timeline confusion. It's almost as if, in a way, that you were stuck living the same day over and over. You're like, when is it going to end? When is it going to stop? And Spirit is saying, Spirit is saying, it's time to step out of the shadow to be seen. What's done in the dark will come to the light. Devil energy in reverse. You're letting go of control. You're letting go of controlling people. Toxic people, narcissistic people. And I'm also hearing your change. And legitimately, I had two cards. One fell on the floor and one's in my hand. The ninth house is you. The ninth house is Sagittarius energy. That's why it rules travel and journeys and wisdom and learning and spirituality. It's because you have been stacking up and stacking up good deeds on good deeds on good deeds. The veil is being lifted for you to see the truth in this situation. The sun. Leo energy. Which we already pulled the sun card. Which is about creativity, happiness, confidence, self-awareness. But the sun card is what brings happiness in the equation. Even with the, 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 the three-faced goddess on the sun card, it's giving the triple moon goddess... It's giving like Hikate, I don't know why. It's almost as if you see the truth. You see the darkness and what people have been doing, plotting. And it's not even about like, it's like, maybe it's because they're jealous of your, your, your work. They're jealous of your job. They're jealous of the security that you are creating. It's almost like, yeah, you're living Groundhog Day every day, but at least you can do something you love. At least you can at least talk to a friend that you love. You found enjoyment in the most miserable experiences. You found enjoyment where other people did not see it. And they asked, how are they still doing that? How are they still standing? How are, they, how are they still motivated? And it's because you are being powered by spirit. You're being powered by the divine. You're being powered 
powered up because you are about to kick it in overdrive and you're about to run. It's like run the business, run the show. That's what I'm hearing. You're going to be running the show, maybe even business. Money is going to flow to you like magical. It sounds very preposterous in a way. Money is just going to flow it, yes. Because that's what spirit is saying. And what spirit says, it goes. It's because you have been stuck in a dark night for such a long time. Spirit says it's time to see the sun. Here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. It's all right. Da, 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 da. Yeah. You were stuck out in the freezing cold. All alone. Not a dollar to your name. That's what I'm hearing. Not a dollar to your name. Who was there? Who spoke up for you? Spirit. Source. Yeah. Source sees all. And there's going to be a dramatic karmatic shift happening. Dramatic. When I say dramatic, I even pulled that for you. Look. A disbelief of shocking news. Did you hear what I hear? Did you hear what I hear? And it's almost as if the, the other people were talking. It's like, oh my God, did you hear what I hear? Yeah. Sagittarius, they had all this stuff given to them. Or it's being sent to them. Their business took off. Yeah, they met their love life. And it's like... They don't even deserve it. I don't know. If there is any negative ass talking people that's holding you back or holding you from reaching your mountaintop, reaching your happiness, reaching out to source, they're in for the rudest of the rudest awakenings. Because... It's giving, it's giving magic in a way. And you are natural at it too. You are natural. Whether if it's by manifestations or whether if it's your gifts, your intuitive gifts. Maybe you are a reader. Maybe you are doing spiritual work. And you are just natural. You're talented. And the other people, it's like, how are they still going? How do they still got fuel in the tank? It's because where they get their fuel is complete opposite of where you get your fuel. Spirit has always provided. Even in the darkest of times, Spirit has always provided for you. Some of y'all could be heavy empaths, empathic energies, heavily spiritual, or heavily diving into the occult. Heavily diving into the occult. It's time to release negativity. Full moon in Scorpio. It's time to let that go. Out with the old, in with the new. You know what you deserve. Adjustments are required. And I like how it's very much purple coming out. When I think of this purple, I think of the crown chakra. And it's almost as if it's you are being sent source energy to send the message. It's almost like you are the messenger in things. That spirit is, is making you the example of the message. That's what it feels like. Like you are being the example of the message. Which is a good thing. Like you're going to be receiving as the example. Meditate and contemplate. 
which is balancing the head and the heart in, the, in that aspect. Piscean energy, deep intuitive, of bottom of the deck. Expect powerful change. Well, let's go ahead and pull, to, uh, pull a goddess card. Um, I'm getting like the Morrigan, or not the Morrigan, I'm getting, maybe the Morrigan is significant, like Hakate or Nyx. Um, the goddess message that we got though is Scold, the goddess of the future. No more Groundhog Day. Card number is 46, 4 plus 6 is 10. 4 plus 6 is 10, which is also the angel number that all got added together. I'm going to put one more. Mm -hmm. One more. Thank you, spirit. <laughs> the Morgan. I quit. I quit. And look, 37, 10, 10, 10, 10. 10, 10 is your angel number. Out one door and a new. Some of y'all are timeline jumpers and Lilith on the bottom for independence. Ooh, yes. Reclaim your territory. Reclaim your throne. Reclaim what is rightfully yours. In the first card that pulled out was Sagittarius. Thank you, Spirit. We have Retrograde, which is also about past energy. And a couple cards fall. We also got New Person. So it's like you're leaving the past. You are moving on, leaving the past for the new beginnings. And then we got Goals. So there's something big about Goals coming out. Um, past lives, message arrival, and finding peace. And the person on your mind, hold on, I'm going to pull a single card for the person on your mind. Um, we have income. So maybe it has to do with money or, but when I think of income, uh, don't look at the word when I say income, it makes me think like incoming messages or incoming news incoming energy that's what i see let's go ahead and pull an animal message for you okay spirit what is the animal message thank you the cougar for assertive with the sun on the card with the cougar in silence, you find power. Claim your leadership role and take action. You know where to go and what to do. You have the courage and the confidence to succeed. To succeed. Which is absolutely beautiful. And I'm also going to pull a message from Spirit uh, from the White Light Oracle and then read it from the book. Alpha of Alcyon, number 24. <laughs> I quit. I quit, y'all. I'm going to look just to make sure this is the same card. A positive twist of fate and a windfall of good fortune are destined for you. Brightness and hope will alleviate negativity and give you the strength to find your way through a time of adversity and challenge. Finally, you will experience peace, love, and a deep connection with your true self in the universe, good things are on their way to you. I quit. Like, when it hits, it hits. And that's all I know. When it hits, it hits. And I love y'all. And if you want your own private, personal video like this, that is a channel message for you, check out the description box below. Don't forget to support Patreon as all of my YouTube videos and hidden pick of cards are only seen in Patreon. Um, go subscribe to TikTok too. And, um, thank you so much. And I love y'all. Bye.